Jane Flosstube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen and I'm the Sassanat Stitcher and this is my podcast all about the journey of my cross stitching. Um, I'd like to say a warm welcome to all the new subscribers that have subscribed since my last video and also welcome back to my regular subscribers. It really does mean a lot uh, to me to think that people are interested in what I'm stitching and um, I really do appreciate it so thank you and um, right today is Friday the 11th of March 2022 I uh, can't believe we're now into March but spring is on the way it's a beautiful day today it's a bit blustery um, I can see all the leaves in the in the window by the side of me, um, it, and it, it's about twelve degrees, so that's really nice because it's been really cold just recently. Um, all the all the daffodils are coming up and the crocuses. It makes you feel better, doesn't it? Anyway, right. So, what have I been doing since I last spoke to you? Um, I've mainly been stitching on one project and there's a couple that I really want to get finished. Mm, I think Jane Cowie, I haven't got too much more to do. But I've, this, this project has just, it's just got me. I just cannot seem to stop stitching on it. Um, let me take it out. This is this was my new start. Well, did I think I just started it just at the new just after the new year, and um, it is uh, Jane Bannister by Hands Across the Sea Samplers. Um, this is one that I have admired for oh such well since it first came out. I just love this one. It is so pretty. It's I love the border that goes all the way round. It's it's a lot of stop and start, a lot of colour changes. Um, but I've I've stitched a haid, so I'm I'm used to that. Um, but it is well worth it. And I think it's it's these kittens that I really liked, and and these. Is it a boy and a girl? I think it's a little boy and a girl. Um, and it's funny because although I've really, really liked this for ages, it's not until you start stitching something that you realise how many different motifs are scattered about. Um, I think my focus had really gone on the border and these two down here. And it wasn't until I started doing, I'd done the basket of flowers and then started doing these that you realise how much more to the sampler there actually is. Um, I think it's like, you know, the more you look at it, the more you see. And I think every time you pick it back up, you notice something different, which um, it's, it's really, I don't know, do you know, I've never noticed that butterfly before. You, you see, think, yeah, things just jump out all of a sudden, don't they? So that's what I've mainly been stitching since I last saw you. So uh, let me move my coffee. I don't want to knock that all over it. Um, oh, just one, just one minute. Sorry about that. I forgot my board. Right. So... Since I last saw you, I have finished the border at the top. Well, I've got to the end. Now, I was going to stitch this on a different piece of fabric. Um, a story to that. I was going to put it on, the, on it was a creamish um fabric and i wanted it a bit darker so i thought i'll um i'll let you have a bit first uh, let me this. 
bit of a nice closer look whilst I tell you. Um, I was going to, I wanted it a bit darker. So I got this bright idea, I was going to coffee dye it. And um, so maybe in May, yeah, I know what I'm doing and get on and does it. And um, then, so I do, I, I dye it and it looks great. But then I thought, oh, I think you've got to put it in the oven to just um, set it. So I put it in the oven, really low, like, and um, I burnt it. Uh, I don't think I can use it at all. Um, it's not everywhere. It's just parts where it touches the um, tray. It, it's, it's not black, black, but it's dark brown. Um, I really ought to have brought it to show you. Um, I, yeah, I kicked myself. So I ended up getting a piece, a different piece. You know, that's what stash is all about. I had another piece, um, but I couldn't remember. I think this fabric is 40 count um, and it's legacy, mm, legacy linen, uh, wild bird seed I think this is um, anyway so I get started and I start going along here and then it suddenly dawns on me um, have I got enough material so that's why I started going can you see why I started going doing the top border uh, to see that's why it's not quite finished but I wanted to I wanted to get as far as this because that's as far as it goes um, and I've only got that much at the end um, I, I really thought I was going to have to start again now I can't get my hoop in there so I've had to do that all by hand which I I applaud anybody that does um, stitching in hand um, I find it quite difficult so um, I think how far is it it's only about an inch inch and a half so I just hope that it's enough to um, frame it I'm hoping it will but I could have kicked myself I really could. You see, I've got, I could have started uh, further along here, couldn't I? Um, I could have started sort of here and given myself a bit more room there. But hey ho, um, I'm guessing we've all done something like that once in a while. I shan't do it again. <laughs> so anyway, let's have a look. I was stitching. I stitching I've stitched so I stitched to the end of the border since I last saw you I've stitched this vase with the four birds and I stitched started stitching this yesterday well the stem and all these leaves are all over one and um, it's let's have a look it's this uh, where are we it's this one and these flowers are over one so uh, which I didn't re I didn't actually realize till I got go got going that there was only over one on this um, you'll notice that I still haven't made my mind up about the bird um, I will do I keep leaving it and leaving it but I just, I just so enjoying this one so much. Um, it's really pretty. Hope you can see all that. It's not easy to show you when I can't see what I'm doing. So you'll see, I haven't quite finished that flower there. 
but I wanted to get right to the edge so that I saw how much was left. Um, so, <laughs> never mind. It's, it's one of them things. It, it is what it is. So, um, I, I would have started, if, if it had been any further across, I would have started again. I, I'd have been a bit cross, but I, I suppose I could have... Um, I could have done something with it. I could have made a pillow or something from it. So that's what I've been stitching on, really, um, since I last saw you. Um, so, as you see, I haven't got too much to show you. Um, now, I have got a little, tiny, tiny little bit of haul. Um, I just... Uh, yeah. Right, so um the little bit of haul I've got is it's in this beautiful velvet pouch um with a draw stamp string. Um and what I've bought, I bought it from Etsy and it is a beautiful handmade um seam ripper needle ripper and uh, that side you take that out and then you put that back in there and then this side is um do you call them alls um if you were doing uh like when i, I used to do my haid if you were doing two over two um you can tidy your stitches up um as you stitch you you pull it and with that and then um, make the stitches all lay the same. So that, that I really enjoyed that. That is beautiful. And they're all handmade by a man called John. Um, you just take them out and put them back in. Like that. They're, um, they're on Etsy. Oh, Claire. Uh, I hope you can see. There's loads of different... Is that better? Oh, oh, it went. Loads of different designs that you can have. And it's by Wooden. I'll put it down the bottom for you. So it's Wood N Things by John. And uh, they're £12.99. And uh, they're £12.99. And as I say, you, you can... There's all different ones. Some really beautiful ones, pretty ones. You know, they sort of go, uh, oh, I don't know if you can see that. There's different designs hang on, uh, by different colours. And now it's, the glare's not, it's the window, unfortunately. Um, Let's see. Now, there's sort of white, grey ones. There should be some blue ones, different blue ones. I've been looking at these for a while, and um, I did have two seam rippers. One was my mum's, so that was a long time ago. And it wasn't sharp, it had gone really dull, and one that I've no idea where it came from. And I've lost both of them. Uh, they're probably down the back of the settee somewhere. But I just I just thought that was so nice because um, you can, I mean, that is quite sharp, if you can even see that. Um, and just put, putting it away is just... It's just a job. So I keep that in there. And that is beautiful. So that is uh, Wooden Things by John. Uh, oh, I thought I could. Can you? Um, there we go. Wooden Things by John on Etsy. And they're 
12.99 British pounds. Which is lovely. Um, so I haven't done much. I have got something else to tell you. Um, it is going to be a short one today, and I do apologise for that um, because I, I've always said this that I don't like just showing a little bit. But a lot of you have said that you'd rather see me often and see the little bits than the great big gaps I've been having. So, so I thought I would come on and show you what I have been doing. Anyway, I don't know where Brock is. Brock. Are you going to come and say hello? Brock? Brock, come here. Now, Brock has got something to tell you if he has come here. Brock, come here. Brock, here. Come on. Up, up. Where is he? Here he is. Now, Brock has got something to tell you. Are you going to tell him? Or are you going to? Or am I? On Sunday... We have got a little girl coming to live with us. Sorry about the camera. Um, we have finally found a friend for Brock. Um, she's She will be eight weeks old next Tuesday and we're going to go fetch her on Sunday. She's another little clumber spaniel, a little girl and her name is Storm. I will put some pictures um, that I've got of when we went to go and view her. Um, I'll put them in. in. Yeah, so that you can see her. And I, I will do a short video of when she comes home and and I'll show you her. She's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. She's she's just like Brock. Uh, she's orange and white. I think Brock's orange and white because you can get them in orange and white or lemon and white. And uh, yeah, so that's exciting. Um, if we've been looking for, well, my husband's been looking for me for a long time. It's, it's over a year since I lost Fern, my Springer Spaniel, and I don't know how, how that year's gone so quick. It took me a while after I lost Fern to even think about getting another dog. I, I just couldn't. Some, I know sometimes it's better to, to get one quickly, but... Brock was quite happy, he, you know, he's with me all day long. But then, and then my son came to live with us and brought his dogs and he, that was fine. And then when, when he left and took his dogs, Brock, I just felt he needed somebody to play with. And so we've been looking and looking and it's taken about six months Clumbers in this country are quite rare. Um, I think there's only just over 200 clumbers that are registered by Kennel Club registered. So um, hopefully in two or three years time, we might have some little clumber feet. Um, but I mean, we've mainly got her to be a friend for Brock, so. He knows there's something going on because, like, I've got his old baby bed out and there's got a crate and blankets and toys, which I'm having to hide from him because he wants them all. Um, he'll get them anyway. But I just thought you might like to know about that. So, so yeah, so it's going to be hard work again, but you can't beat a puppy. I mean, it could have, I was hoping to have got one after I'd had my knee replacement, but because it's hard to find them, I, and find the right one, because I had rung up about one a while ago, but uh, she was 15 weeks old and she'd failed her eye test and 
not what I wanted. I wanted a little pup um, to to grow up with Brock. So um, yeah, my knee replacement. I think it's not going to be too long now. I've had since I spoke to you. I've spoken to the anaesthetist, and um, I spoke to the surgeon uh, Monday about surgery um they're just a bit bothered because i'm asthmatic so this afternoon i've got to go to hospital and have a breathing test uh spirometer some of you will probably know what i'm talking about and um i just need to get some more x-rays done so i'm hoping that we'll get it done in the next few months hopefully before harvest and um so that will be that done and then hopefully i might be able to get a little bit more mobile which will help um go you know help going forward help my back and um because i have bad back uh well yeah and um it just puts pressure on everything else so hopefully once we get that surgery done i i might get a bit more better quality of life so let's hope so so um i'm sorry it's only a short video um but i'd rather i think everybody has sort of said they'd rather see me more often even if it's just a little bit to show you so um i think what i'm going to try and do if I can get any sewing done once we've got puppy, I shall have to <laughs> shall have to do like with when the children are tiny, do do a bit when she's asleep, and um, I'm going to try and get the writing on Jane Cowie done. Um, that I I just seem to be lagging behind on Jane Cowie now, and um, I want to get her done. Um, I also need to take, still take my um, samplers that I've f uh, put on foam board that I've laced, uh, taken to the framers. I've still not done that. But I, I will try and get that done. And um, once they're done, I will I will show you what uh, what they're like. So... So anyway, hopefully I'll put another short video out next week once we've got Puppy and um, just so that you can all see her and um, see Brock and her playing. So, like I say, I'm sorry it's short, but I will try and get back to you. Well, I'll get back to you next week with a, a Puppy update and hopefully I'll get back to you with some more sewing in two or three weeks time okay then so i well i just want to also say that my thoughts and prayers are with the ukrainians um i'm not saying anymore because we all think the same so i just i'm thinking about them and i'd also just like to say hi william stanley isabel and there'll be another little girl soon as well so hi to rosa when she gets here um my daughter-in-law is due in six weeks i think it is uh with the little girl that they're going to call rosa so um really looking forward to to seeing her so everybody keep safe and thank you so much for watching my videos really do appreciate it if you enjoy what you watch, please give me a like and please subscribe if you haven't done. Um, it means such a lot to me to think that people in all parts of the world are interested in what I do. Um, it means a lot to me. So everybody keep safe, keep well and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.